success. All right, let's take a look at what we have happening out the window right now. Quite a few clouds, like it's been the vast majority of the morning. You look off towards the northwest, there is a little bit of clearing time to, trying to take place, and that will be the direction you'll look towards to see some sunshine move in. It'll happen this afternoon, just got to be patient. That's part of the reason why we're not warming up a ton today. Hanging out in the mid-30s, the northwest wind has backed off considerably. It gusts up to 25 miles per hour right now in some places, but they're not consistent. 30s, left-hand side, which is the temperature. 20s on the right-hand side for the most part, which is the wind chill. So those starting to improve just a little bit compared to where they were this morning. Tough to see, but there is a back edge to the clouds right about here. You can look. A lot of this cloud cover, what well, looks like cloud cover that isn't moving, that's still some snow cover on the ground. The clouds are starting to thin out up here as they drop to the southeast. And I tell you what, snow cover on the ground is becoming less and less of a thing. By the weekend, there may not be much more than piles left on the Nebraska side. You can see it's a little more there on the Iowa side, but that has shrunk considerably over the last two days thanks to the melting. And look off to the west, there's very little in parts of uh, central and western Nebraska. Nothing in South Dakota, really, up into North Dakota. I know many people are worried about flooding, but we've melted off a huge chunk of what we have. We don't have issues now, and there's nothing really upstream to melt off. River levels are low. We still have drought conditions over a good chunk of the area, too, so the ground is sitting there like a sponge, just waiting to soak up whatever it can. Frost, or ground level frost and temperatures are right around freezing, so as we continue to warm, those will warm as well, and some of this will get a chance to soak in. So there are the clouds that have moved in this morning. We make our way from noon on. Notice how we're kind of on the back edge here by noon, and then those will fizzle out during the afternoon. So there's our sunshine. Unfortunately, it's kind of a too little, too late scenario to really do a lot of warming. About 40, 41, still enough to keep the melting going, just at a slower pace than yesterday. There's the uh, snow shower activity, maybe a sprinkle up to the northwest that you can see doesn't hang on. Maybe Norfolk, maybe Wayne gets in on a little bit of this. That is about it. And then overnight tonight, possibly a little fog trying to develop towards tomorrow morning with some melting, but you can see how it's kind of showing up where the snow cover is the thickest. So we get that and cooling temperatures. We could have some of that by tomorrow morning. Something to keep an eye on. Now, 41 today, 43 tomorrow. We're keeping an eye on Friday. Small, small chance of some afternoon spotty showers from these thicker clouds. Notice how these would move through and a couple little specks showing up every once in a while during the afternoon. Then in the evening, those would fade away and move out. And that'll set the stage for a pretty quiet night Friday night. So not a huge impact. Don't be surprised if you feel a few, a few raindrops at times Friday afternoon. And now into the weekend at 54 and 42, not too bad. A trend we've noticed on models lately, uh, taking this rain chance and maybe scooting it a little earlier in the weekend, putting something Saturday night more so than on Sunday. So maybe if we get some overnight rain, we could get two fairly decent days out of the weekend with 40s and 50s and then 40s and 50s next week as well. Possibility of some even bigger warmth by the end of next week. Download our first alert app. Follow along with that forecast info. Keep an eye on the temperatures and yeah, enjoy the melting. I think we can all agree on that. We can agree on that, Rusty. Thank you.